This is the first video from a series on how to automate your backlog prioritization in Jira using Foxly and Automation for Jira. In this episode, we will be looking at how to include story points estimation in the prioritization process. I'm Nikki from Jigso. Jigso is an Atlassian marketplace partner that helps teams improve the way they plan and track their work. One of our plugins that we develop is Foxly, which is a backlog prioritization plugin for Jira that is available in Jira Cloud on the Atlassian Marketplace. If you would like to know more about Foxly, you can check out the intro video, link is in the description below. But now let's have a look on how you can connect story points to the effort metric in Foxly. There are two ways we could go about connecting story points field to Foxly. One way, which we will cover in this video, is to use the exact number of story points to be stored in Foxly metric and work with this number. The second option would be to map the story points value to the effort labels like S and L in Foxly. But we will look at this one in the next episode. Let's start then. This is Foxly. I'm using the default prioritization method, uh, which is ICE, impact, ease and confidence. So the first step which I need to do is to enable the, to create a new uh, metric in Foxly. So I will go to customize and then here I will click on add a new metric and I will select the number. Now here I can give it a name, uh, for example, and I need to check this option stored values in custom field. So I click on that. And uh, because I want this to replace the ease in my uh, prioritization process, I can just click and select the story points instead. All right, so now I save the changes. All right, so now I created the metric uh, that is called story points in Foxly and uh, I included it in my prioritization formula to calculate the priority score. So this ease metric is not anymore used in the priority score, you can see it over here. So what I need to do now is I need to uh, connect this uh, custom field to start by field, field in Jira. Uh, it's good just to check how is this custom field named. So you can just go to advanced search in Jira And here in columns, you can type story points. And here you can see story points ice value. It's the name of the field that was generated by Foxly. So we are going to be working with this name while uh, doing the automation for you. So now I will go to my project and project settings and automation. And I can start creating my automation rule. So you can just click here on rules and click on create a rule. And uh, the automation is always consisting of some kind of trigger. So it can be, for example, when the issues changes or it's created, or you can even have like hourly trigger triggers that the automation rule is uh, run every hour, etc. Uh, then uh, you can add some conditions, so some checks, and then what should be executed, so some kind of action. So for me, the trigger, trigger right now will be that field value changes. And my field that I'm going to be watching is a story point field in Jira, which is this one. So story points field is for the classic projects or now named uh, company managed projects and the story point estimate is for next gen projects so for a team managed projects so because i'm in a company managed project i can see it here i'm going to be using story points now i just need to add the action and the action will be editing the field Because the field I'm going to be editing is a custom field, you won't find it here. Uh, here you can find only uh, like a common field in Jira. I can do the edit via this um, uh, more option functionality. I will add here the name of my field, so eyes and story points. I 
I will just explain a little bit what's going on here. So, uh, story points is the name of the metric. Our ice, ice is the name of the template, and then uh, value that signals um, if you are using a number value of the metric or a label value like that uh, nickname which you are giving it in in Foxley. So uh, for the number type fields, you will have only value custom fields but if you would create for example label custom fields then you have a two types of custom fields then created in Jira and now we can save our automation and we can give it a name and we can turn it on okay so now we have our automation node done let's go and check if it works so now if I change the story point fields in Jira, it should update our Foxley number metric story points. So let's for example change this big knight in. I have here story points field. I can add five. And now I can check if automation was done. So let me click here. And you can see that the automation was run successfully. So I can definitely go and check in Foxley if the field was updated. So to do that, I can just click here on priority score and I can see here story points is five. Even if I would go to Foxley itself, You can see that story points is five. Now, maybe you would like to also update the story points field in Jira when this metric in Foxly gets updated. So, if I would, for example, type here two, it would update as two in Jira. Now, to do that, I need to just do the reverse automation, which is quite simple. So, we will go again to automation for Jira. And we create a new rule. And the action again is uh, field value changed and here the field which we are going to be monitoring is a uh, story point ice value which is the uh, custom field from Foxley and then we save and then we will do the action so every time this custom field ch uh, changes its value we will edit the issue and we will edit and we will edit a story point a story point field with and here we just insert uh, this so this is basically the issue that we are currently running automation on and uh, this is the story points field and the ice value so this is the name of the metric in Foxley and the name of the template and its value so uh, we will be storing its value in the story points so we save the changes and publish and now when we go to our backlog and try to change for example here our story points let's say five and then we go and check if the automation done still running here it was uh, successful so now we will just go and check if the story points field updated in Jira and it did so now it's connected and that's it I hope this video will help you set up your automation rules for backlog prioritization if you are interested in other examples like discounting priority score when issue is blocked in Jira including number of linked tickets in your score and more you can check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Happy prioritizing!